This is my, uh, my traveling toiletry bag. Let me do something about this. Starting off by drawing myself out some 14 inch squares on this interfacing. Double this up, cause I want two pieces. I've leveled up. Linings are a thing I do now, you know? And so for the outside of the bag, I've got this coarse canvasy type fabric which I actually used for a bag that Mandy, Mandy, ooh, shouldn't call him that. This bag here that Mandy is holding. Iron down that interfacing. And the lining's this uh, rather fun print of moose and deer and rams and other horned animals. Cause you know, it's manly and uh, I'm a man. You know, I've got a toilet bag, but I'm uh, masculine. The, uh, where's the glued side? That's the glued side, nothing. Ah, f Did that again. Lining, zipper, outside. And then give that a top stitch as well. Now for the other side, flip that there. Flip this around this way. The key bit for this other side though is that I have to leave a little bit of a gap. So, sew up to about there. Move it along to, oh, about here. And then finish off. Time to close this thing up. And so I found the centers and I gotta line that up with the center of the zipper. And I also do want those little uh, tabby bits that you can hold onto when you open and close a zipper. So for that, I'm gonna use this red webbing I bought many moons ago. You know, it's gonna add a little pop of color, a little pizzazz. Take that little tabby bit, put that in on the end here. I'm sure you're wondering, but you've got all this excess zipper. What you gonna do? It's a nylon zipper. I can just trim it off. Pretty cool, huh? Now it's time to do the actual magic where I turn my pancake into a rectangular shape. So in the corners, I draw up these squares, trim out these squares. Pop open one of these holes lengthwise, like so. This is where things are gonna get rather difficult. So that one's that way, but then do the same thing with the lining piece. Come on. And now, stitch this whole mess closed. This whole lining up the little holes thing isn't getting any easier. Final seam. All right, have I done this correctly? This is that little gap I left by the zipper in the beginning. This bag is in, hold on. This is inside out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Phew, for a second there I thought I'd sewn it inside out. And I lied a little bit. This is my final seam, closing up the gap by the zipper. I am pressing out these seams just a touch so it sits a bit more square. 
Mandy, Manny, why don't we admire my handiwork real quick? Overall, the shape of it, I like it. It sits nice and flat. The seams squared up, you know? These little red tabs on the ends. I think they're a nice little touch. They add just a hint of flair without being gaudy, you know? You agree, you too? I think so. And then on the inside, the lining. Little personality with the different horned animals and, and the sewing itself. No puckering. It sits nice on the inside as well. Come on, you two. Give me, give me a little bit of love. I'm a simple man. Toothbrush, toothpaste, comb, some floss. That's got my hair and all my face needs sorted. Well, actually, also a razor, which is cheap because this thing falls off all the time, but let's keep it real. I don't grow very much facial hair. That's just to make me feel like a man. And uh, the Old Spice, original flavor. Don't need that fancy stuff they're marketing these days. I was doing Old Spice before Old Spice was cool. And I made this thing just in time because, well, wouldn't you know it, I'm off to go see Mama Quarry for a few days. All right, I'm out of here. Peace. Should probably close that. All right, now.